Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to do fractions and decimal important questions which are of two marks, and this is for class seventh. So I have taken all the different type of questions, and if you solve this type of questions, you can able to solve almost you no know, uh, all the questions from this chapter. So let's try. First question is find the value of five by six, and we have two questions there, thirty and twenty-four. So here you have to find out five sixth of thirty. So whenever they give you something like fraction, like five by six in this case, sometimes it's, they're going to change the numbers. So five sixth of thirty, right? Five sixth of thirty we have to find out. So five sixth of thirty means it is five by six. Of means multiplication and thirty. So here you have to reduce them to reduce to for like lowest to form. So you're gonna cancel them. We can cancel six and thirty, six ones are and six fives are thirty. Remember thirty is a numerator, okay? And six is in denominator, so you can cancel them. Now here only five is left. Five and five is left in numerator, so just multiply them. So five fives are twenty-five. So five six of thirty is twenty-five. Then the second question we have fifty-four. So we have to find out five sixth of of means multiplication of fifty four five sixth of fifty four. So cancel six and fifty four. We can cancel directly in six table. If you want to cancel, cancel it in two table if you wanted. Otherwise, directly cancel this in six table. So six ones are six and six nines are fifty four. So we are left with five five and nine in the numerator. Multiply them. So five nines are forty five. That's it. So you can expect this type of question. Now here I have taken a two different questions here. This we can give in this way, or sometimes this can be asked for one mark also. Then the next question, second one, multiply and reduce to lowest form. First we have to multiply and reduce it. So you can reduce in the beginning also if you want to. You want to cancel it, and then you can multiply. But you want the answer in the lowest form. Lowest form means you have to cancel the number. So for the first one is. We have three by eight multiplied by four by nine. Now try to cancel numbers if possible. So here we can cancel three and nine. Remember, when you cancel numbers, it has to be the number has to be in the numerator and denominator. You cannot cancel numbers which are present both in numerator or both in denominator. You can, can you cannot cancel them. So here I can cancel three and nine in three table. I can cancel their multiples of three. So three ones are three and three threes are nine. Similarly, four and eight I can cancel. Four ones are four. Four twos are eight. So here I'm left with in the numerator one is there. One ones are one. In the denominator we have two and three. So two threes are six. So answer is one by six. So we have reduced it. One by six cannot be reduced first. So this is the lowest form. Second question: eleven by ten multiplied by two by five. Now again, try to cancel numbers. We can cancel two and ten here. Two ones are two, and two fives are ten. Now we cannot cancel anything further. Remember, this five both are present in denominator. You cannot cancel them. You have to multiply now. So eleven ones are eleven, divided by five fives are twenty-five. So eleven upon twenty-five is the answer. Then the next question. Multiply and express as mixed fraction. So we have a two uh, questions here. So we have to multiply and express in a mixed fraction. So already one number is in mixed fraction. So we have to first multiply, reduce it, and again again convert back to the mixed fraction. So the first question is four multiplied by six two by three. Now we have to first convert mixed fraction into improper fraction. So four will remain same. Now convert this. So multiply first. Three six is eighteen. Now add with the numerator. So first multiply and then whatever answer you got, you have to add with the numerator. So three six is eighteen. Eighteen plus two is twenty. So twenty upon three. Now try to cancel them. Can you cancel a number? No. I cannot cancel four and twenty because both are numerator. So if you cannot cancel, just multiply them. So four into twenty is eighty. So eighty upon three. Now if you see, this is an improper fraction. Numerator is greater than denominator, which means it's improper. And every improper fraction can be converted into a mixed fraction. Now how to convert this into mixed fraction? For that, you can do a division. We're going to divide this eighty by three. So three ones are sorry three twos are six we can take so three twos are six, remainder is two. Drop this zero here we got twenty. So three six are eighteen. Subtract it two is a remainder. Now from here we're gonna write down. So denominator will remain same. It will be three. Here the whole number will be the numerator. 
so not numerator i'm sorry the quotient so quotient here we got is 26 so 26 will be the whole number and the remainder what we got that will be the numerator so 2 is the numerator so 26 2 by 3 is the answer then the next one so let me raise this one this question so second question we have 3 2 by 3 multiplied by 5 so first convert this into improper fraction so 3 3 is a 9 9 plus 2 is 11 so 11 by 3 multiplied by 5 so can we cancel number no we cannot cancel just multiply so 11 5 is a 55 so 55 upon 3 so we have to convert this into mixed fraction because 55 upon 3 is an improper fraction so again you can divide 55 and 3 so 3 ones are 3 2 is a remainder drop this 5 so 3 eights are 24 so we got 1 as a remainder so this is equal to 3 will be the same denominator whole number will be the quotient what we got which is 18 and the numerator will be the remainder which is 1 so we got the second question also the next one so this was third question now we're going to do the fourth one so fourth question is a story type of question so question is Sarah and Darshan went for a picnic their mother gave them a juice bottle of 3 liter Sarah consumed one third of the juice and Darshan consumed the rest so we have two questions here it's a word problem how much did Sarah drink so they have given that she drank a one third of juice and they are asking here how much Sarah drink which means we have to find out in liters so total there is a three liters of juice in this three liter she drank one third of juice so let's answer the first question so it will be how much did she drink means they have given one third of the juice the juice was here three liters right so one third of three liters we have to find out so it will be one by three of means multiplication and this three liters now three and three will get cancelled in three table three ones are three which is equal to one one by one or one you can write down so one liter so she drank one she drinks a one liter of juice here now second question here is what fraction of total quantity did Darshan drink now they're asking here quantity sorry what fraction they're asking here here they have given that uh, Sarah consumed one third of juice so one third means there are two ways of finding out one is which I feel is very lengthy method see with the total juice is of whole number right so it's always one so total or the whole thing is always assumed as a one here so whole juice let us see it as whole juice so total juice what uh, his uh, mother gave will be one liter so total juice here is suppose one okay not one liter one we assume in fraction one has a whole quantity okay now though she has given three liters i'm talking about the fraction in fraction the whole quantity will take it as a one fine then we have to find out the fraction of the how much darshan has drank right so it will be so total it will be darshan's fraction right so darshan so fraction of juice let me rewrite this so fraction of juice darshan consumed will be so like i said in the fractions we take one as a whole quantity so in this one we have to remove how much Sarah drank. Sarah drank one third of the fraction. So one minus one by three. So it will be when you take LCM of one and three, we'll get three here. And we have to multiply three in the numerator and denominator so that we are converting into equivalent fraction and the denominators will be same. So we'll get here three minus one, which will be equal to two by three. This is a lengthy way of doing it okay 2 by 3 so what fraction Darshan has consumed is 2 by 3 the rest of the fraction so instead of subtracting this from a 1 this is a simple way of doing it see 
Sara has consumed one third, right? It is Sara's fraction is one third, which means out of three parts, suppose there are three parts of juice. Out of these three parts, Sara has consumed the first part. Now we have to find out the remaining part which was consumed by the um, darshan. So it will be the other remaining part. It will be two by three because two parts are left. So it will be two by three. That's it. So one third means after out of three part, one part Sara has consumed. The remaining will be two by three, right? So two part has consumed by the darshan. So if you see total will be three by three, which is nothing but one. So like I said before, one is considered as a whole fraction. The whole uh, quantity is always con uh, considered as a one here. So this is an easy way of doing it. Instead of subtracting from one, taking LCM, it's long method. Instead of that, you can do this one. Then the next question is, here we have a division. So divisions in the fractions are really important. So the first question is 2 by 9 divided by 4. So whenever you're dividing a two fractions, what happens is the first fraction will remain same. The first one is 2 by 9. It will remain same. Instead of division, we'll take multiplication and we'll take the reciprocal of second one. Second number is 4. Reciprocal will become 1 by 4. Now, if you don't know what is reciprocal, you have to just interchange numerator and denominator. So, 4 is nothing but 4 by 1. They both are same. So, its reciprocal will become 1 by 4. You have to just interchange. That's it. Now, you just solve it. Try to cancel numbers. We can cancel 2 and 4. 2 1s are and 2 2s are 4. So, 9 and 2 is left in the denominator. So, 1 by 18 is the answer. So, that was first question. Now, second one. So, it's 11 by 7 divided by 1 by 2. So, in the first question, we had a whole number. Now, both the fractions are here. Uh, both the numbers are fractions here. So, first number, 11 by 7 will remain same. It will not change. Instead of division, we'll put multiplication, uh, multiplication sign. We'll take the reciprocal of second fraction. So, reciprocal of second fraction is 2 by 1. 1 by 2 will become 2 by 1. Now try to cancel them. So we cannot cancel number here. So multiply. So 2 into 11 is 22. So 22 upon 7 ones are 7. So 22 upon 7 is the answer. The next one. 3 1 by 8 divided by 2 1 by 4. So here I have taken both mixed fraction to explain you. So if we're going to first convert them into improper fraction. So convert them. First one is 3 8s are 24. 24 plus 1 is 25. So 25 upon 8 divided by. The second one is 4 2s are 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 by 4. Now, it, like you can see both the fractions are like we divide both the fractions here. So, first fraction will remain same. 25 upon 8 will remain same. Division will become multiplication. Take reciprocal of second number. So, 9 by 4 reciprocal is 4 by 9. Now, try to cancel numbers. We can cancel 4 and 8. 4 ones are 4 twos are 8. Now, we cannot cancel anything further. So, just multiply. So, 25 into 1 is 25 and 2 into 9 is 18. So, 25 upon 18 is the answer for the second one. So, in this question, I have covered all the division, division of uh, fraction and the whole number. Now, sixth question is division and multiplication by 10 and 100. Now, this is again can come for 2 marks or or uh, even for one mark. So I have taken a couple of questions here. Remember one question will not be for two marks. Here they may give you two bits. Like in one question they may give you two bits and they may ask for the two marks question or even three mark question. Now here we are multiplying here. A decimal number by 10, 100 or division by 10 and 100. So far we have solved regarding fractions. Now we have a decimal question. Now, whenever you are multiplying, this rule is applicable only when you are multiplying with 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh, where you have a 1 and zeros there. So, when you are multiplying here, the decimal number, the decimal point will move to the right side. And how many places it move right side? It depends upon how many zeros are there. In 10, only one zero is present, which means decimal point will move one place to the right side, which means after 6, we will get the decimal. So it will be 236.0. That's it. Now same rule for 100 also. For 100 there are two zeros are there and decimal point will move 
two po two places to the right side decimal always go to right side when you're doing multiplication so two places to the right side now since only one digit is present which is nine does it we want two digits so we're going to take a zero here okay so it will become 849 so it's not 800 it will become uh, 8490.0 okay so in multiplication if you see a thousand there the decimal will move three places to the right side that's it now we have a division division same rule but decimal point will go left side so it will become 8.514 that's it now there are two zeros are there so this will, will move two places to the left side so it will become 1.7125 same rule must remember for division the decimal will go left side and for multiplication it goes to the right side so I hope it's clear how to multiply and divide with 10 and 100 same thing goes for 1000 and 10,000 you have to just see how many zeros are there that many place values it will move then this was sixth question seventh one now here I have taken a question where you have a multiplication with both um, both numbers are decimal numbers so how to multiply them now it's very simple it's like a normal division only thing is you have to take care about the decimal point so where to put the decimal point so just uh, let's start this so here we have 1.08 multiplied by 0 0.3 so forget about decimal just multiply number so we have 108 multiplied by 0 3 is nothing but 3 multiplied them so 8 3 is a 24 we will get to go here 3 1 is a 3 so 324 we got it right so 324 now we'll think about decimal now see in the first digit in the first number after decimal we have two digits in second number after decimal we have one digit so 2 plus 1 is 3 now we have to put decimal point uh, three places from the right side from right side you have to put that is four two three three digits are over right after that I'll put decimal point and then I'll put zero here so it's like you do just do a normal multiplication after multiplying you have to see how many digits are there after decimal in the first we have two in second we have one total three so from end of the number that is from four you have to start so four two three three digits are over then put decimal point now suppose you don't have any decimal in the second number it's like 1.08 multiplied by 3 then you have to put decimal point only after two numbers because the only two digits are there right here this is the whole number suppose then you have to put decimal point only after two digits two places from the right side that's it I hope it's clear then the next question we have to find out 3 seventh of uh, two mixed fractions we have given so first one so 3 by 7 of it's like a first question we have done but this is a mixed fraction 3 3 by 7 3 3 by 4 now suppose they have given like this you have to first convert this into an improper fraction so 3 by 7 of means multiplication so convert this into improper fraction 4th is a 12 12 plus 3 is 15 15 by 4 now try to cancel here we cannot cancel numbers we can uh, cancel 3 and 15 but they both are present in numerator we cannot cancel them so just multiply so 3 into 15 is 45 and 7 4 is 28 so 45 upon 28 then second question we have 3 by 7 of 4 5 by 2 so this is equal to 3 by 7 of means multiplication convert this into improper 4 2 is 8 8 plus 5 is 13 so we will get 13 by 2 now multiply can you cancel number we cannot cancel just multiply so 3 into 13 is 39 and 7 2 is 14 so that's it I have covered all the questions here of two two marks now this type of questions can come for exam so if you understand how to do this type of problem and if they change the numbers I'm gonna give you you can able to solve them so that's it in case you have further questions or doubts you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching